Hi, this is a, uh, a quick recap on the last video that I did regarding the Marsh Harrier, which uh, had wing tags and uh, the uh, people that do the tagging have come, come back to me and informed me that uh, it's a P3, which is a Marsh Harrier that was ringed at, um, down by Braden Water and I will leave some information um, that uh, you can read uh, you may find interesting regarding that so that was just a quick update hope you find that helpful be a bit of a follow-up from sighting Marsh Harrier E3. So we're making our way directly to the bitten hide. Hide and then get ourselves settled in. Um, we start to see the usual across the marsh with the geese and ducks and swans and coot fishing if you can call it that looks like he's picking up more weed than anything else but uh, keep watching see how we go the coot is very common on our broads and can be seen just about everywhere really unlike ducks coots will bring their catch to the surface before eating it leading to a scramble over food now that looks nice doesn't it six to nine eggs in a nest made amongst vegetation coot chicks are black with orange fluff around the face and body and they are independent within two months of hatching and you can identify a coot quite easily um, it looks similar to a moorhen uh, size wise but black body with white patches and bright white bill Coots spend much of their time away from the bank, the river bank, diving for food. And did you know the saying borders a coot actually refers to the white patch or front, frontal shield just above the bird's bill? Rather like a rather than a lack of feathers, coots are also known locally as the bald coots and white faced divers. So here we have a great white egret. They're quite a large bird, quite enormous, they're about a lot, as large as a grey heron. A few decades ago records of the great white egrets were less than annual, but now many of them winter in the UK. A few pairs even nest here. Visiting birds can be found in all kinds of wetland habitats, but uh, made their home in the broads here. Very happy with a shallow water for fishing and they use their spear-like dagger bill to capture their uh, prey. The great white egret can appear in almost any part of the UK. They are most frequently found in the... And he's got a mill. Well done. It's, uh, as you can see, their head goes right under the water. They can spy what they need good eyesight to be able to do that so we have quite murky waters here on the broads but they've uh, adapted very well
So, as the great white flies off, we will be left with our usual swans and geese on the broad. Something caught my eye as I was uh, looking down on the water. I looked up and I thought, now, is that a big marsh harrier? But no, it was a plain, plain to see. We then had a whoosh over our head as a grey leg goose came in to land on the marsh. Uh, looked quite magnificent as it uh, touched down. Uh, the camera, the OM1, caught the images really nicely. I'm pleased with that. But uh, when you see how small a bird looks once it's settled on the water, you can't believe that the size of the wingspan so we're now making our way back and uh, come across this pheasant feeding but uh, we're leaving the marsh here at Hickling and going up to Cly Marshes on the North Norfolk coast. Um, it's a big reserve up there right on the coast and we're going to have a look and uh, have a look at some spoonbills. So stay with us as we make our way up there. We arrive at the Norfolk Wildlife Trust Visitor Centre and uh, make our way from there across the main road onto the marsh and to the hide. We see some birds and squirrels and uh, more hens and coots on the marsh but then we get settled and look across and yes we can see Spoonbill in the distance there. There's the other side of the uh, marsh and there is a, another one that's a little closer which we will have a look at in a minute or two. Wish I could stand on one leg like that. <laughs> I see how to do it for ages. It's almost as though they go to sleep like it, isn't it? to get into the hide with us. Very persistent, very noisy. But, uh, if we ignore them and look out across the marsh we can see the spoonbill. The other spoonbill this is being quite active fishing away there. So we'll just uh, zoom in and watch him being busy. Spoon bill's really busy. Yeah, fantastic, huh? Catching quite a few fish. I expect somebody will inform me that uh, this is actually a female, as it's so busy. It's probably a female. Um, but I wouldn't know one from the other, so <laughs> maybe you do know it, so make a comment. We are coming to the end of our time here at Cly, and we'll be making our way back. But I wish you all well, and if you found any of this information informative, please subscribe and like. It all helps with the channel especially giving me the likes and subscribing doesn't cost anything but it certainly helps the channel 
so I hopefully see you all next time. Cheers for now. Thanks for watching and could you please give us a thumbs up that would be good and maybe subscribe as well. Most much appreciated and hopefully we will see you next time. If you subscribe you will get notification of when the next video comes out. So many thanks for that and bye for now.